Hello and welcome to part 2 of this Omnis 4.1 tutorial. We're going to pick up where we left off in the previous video. So we've just finished importing and setting up our geometry and we're ready to move on to the domain creation step. To do this I need to switch contexts. I am now in the geometry context and I need to switch to the domain context via the workflow menu at the bottom of the screen. Once I do that, I need to create a domain. So I will use the button on the Pi to do this. In the domain creation menu, if I click the plus sign, I can create domain one. Um, I need to add a geometry to the domain. So with the manifold selected in the tree, I will simply click add to add this geometry under domain one. Then I go to apply and close. We can now see domain one in the tree and we also see the geometry and the seed point in the graphical viewing area. Now the seed point designates which side of the domain boundaries is the interior of the computational domain. And the way the mesher works is initially a volume mesh is created and then cells that are outside of or intersecting the boundaries of the computational domain are discarded. And the way the meshing algorithm knows um, which side of the boundaries is the interior of the computational domain is via the location of the seed point. And that means that the seed point always needs to be on the inside of the domain and it also needs to be away from any of the boundaries of the domain. This is to ensure that the seed point is not located inside of a cell that intersects the boundaries of the domain. If that is the case then the measure cannot tell interior from exterior. So we can adjust the location of the seed point interactively, like so. Or alternatively, we can adjust the location of the seed point by selecting it in the tree. And underneath, in the properties panel, we can assign XYZ coordinates under the location field for the seed point. That concludes this part of the tutorial. I will now save my project and we're ready to move on to the mesh context in the next video. I'll see you there.